We're back. We're very sorry for that because we have to find all the secret keys for the Chaos Emeralds. But anyway, let's hunt them down and see what we got. Yeah. I missed it, though, by the way. Yeah, you kind of did, Sonic. Yeah. It's a shame, really, because there's too many robots out there. <clears throat> you're gonna make it, you're gonna make it. What's this? Hang in there, little kid. Find Sage. Our great great kid. She's right there. I wouldn't. Never mind. Damn it! I believe you can proceed once you find a way to activate the starting device and power the statue. Sure would have been smoother sailing if we'd been working together from the start, but... Well, I guess I had to earn your trust first, huh? Uh. Do you know how to activate the starting device? I've figured out everything else up until now, haven't I? Don't sweat it. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, how do I do this? While well, you do it then. Oh yeah, it's the hard point. Yeah. Get ready, Sonic! Target is down. Well done, Sonic. Yeah, kind of glad. It's a shame, really. Yeah, it is a shame. Take it on the bright side. We did it on our first try and our first hit. Yeah. Are you gonna load or are you gonna waste your time around, stupid TV? It's trying. What does it do? So that's what it is. Right. The way 
is clear. We must acquire the Chaos Emeralds with expediency. You got it, Sage. <laughs> We've run into each other so many times, but I only recently learned your name. You could have told me sooner, you know. We were enemies. Furthermore, my name holds no meaning. Well, sure it does. Eggman named you that for a reason. That means you're important to him. You... think he cares about me? Well, sure. In his own way. Hey, time's a wasting. Let's wrap this up. <laughs> right, here we go. The ancients came to this world tens of thousands of years ago. The planet was still underdeveloped back then and their technology was vastly superior to anything else at the time. I knew it felt different at the time, but the fact that it was really alien was surprising. The floating building, giant structures, cyberspace... It didn't make sense that such advanced stuff was also super old. But it all came from space, so... Well, there you go, I guess. What would this world look like if the ancients had survived, I wonder? Under different circumstances, I would enjoy running the simulations. Yeah, you bet so, kid. So, we've got satellite maps today, but I don't think they can compete with direct brain downloads. Uh -huh. I can roll with it now that I know it's alien tech, but it's still a bit weird to me. Like, why are the villages missing when everything else is so detailed? The ancients had a difficult time adapting to this world, adjusting to the new flora and fauna, dealing with technological incompatibilities. Their settlements were under constant revision. The map was designed for a universal knowledge of the islands and their facilities. I guess that makes sense. And it's probably a good idea to limit the info to make sure whoever can access it can be trusted first. <laughs> Once the ancients landed on this world, they cultivated the islands to be their new home. This place in particular was meant for prayer and reflection. They hoped to live in peace. When they learned their enemy had followed them here, they prepared to defend this world. The walls, cannons, towers, all for a desperate last stand. That explains all the stuff I've seen on the run. I wondered if they were preparing for a fight. Now I know. This is where the ancients would gather to simply be together. To cherish those who were left. That is why they recorded everything. Their history, their aspirations, their hopes, their dreams. So they would never be truly gone. <laughs> 